walking across the street to pick up mail from a mailbox, going for a walk on the side of the road, crossing the street in a marked crosswalk. These are just three ways that residents of Southwest Connecticut lost their lives over the past two years, as the region and the state as a whole grapple with a growing number of pedestrian and traffic-related deaths. In our area of Southwest Connecticut, from January 1, 2022 through April 30, 2024, there have been more than 27,000 crashes on our roads, according to state crash data. Those crashes involved more than 64,000 people and more than 52,000 vehicles. There were at least 40 deaths in our region during this time that were caused by crashes, as well as 238 serious injuries and more than 2,500 minor injuries. While many of the crashes involved cars hitting other cars, 383 of the crashes involved a collision with a pedestrian, and more than 2,100 pedestrians were involved in a crash in our area. At least 15 pedestrians have died in Southwest Connecticut since 2022. While most crashes include some type of personal responsibility from the driver, speeding, distractions, driving too closely, a growing number of pedestrian and traffic safety advocates have been pointing out that street design plays a large role. For example, in Stamford, Washington Boulevard saw three fatalities in 2022. The boulevard's road design plays a large role in the number of crashes along it, according to advocates and officials. Washington Boulevard is what advocates would call a strode, because it's not really a street and it's not really a road, but it's designed to move vehicles quickly through an area, making it dangerous for other types of users. Studies have shown that roadway designs that encourage drivers to go slower, such as more narrow lanes, can reduce the number of overall crashes but more importantly, the number of fatal crashes. If the crash occurs at a lower speed, even if it involves a pedestrian, the survival rates are much higher. The goal of advocates and officials across Southwest Connecticut is to look at ways road design can help slow down drivers and make areas safer for all types of users, including drivers, passengers, pedestrians, and cyclists. Keep an eye out next week for more examples of how communities are working to do just that. Reporting for Coastal Connecticut Times, I'm Kelly Prinz.